Welcome to our barn. Of course, the old barn isn't safe for animals. So on the other side of our two-car garage, we have a small space for tack and feed and hay, and then a section where we keep our six Shetland sheep and some laying hens. Now I wanted to share our barn and our livestock with you, and of course our livestock guardian dog, Patara, who is a great Pyrenees, because Imolk is right around the corner. And we so often think of Imolk as the first spring festival. We think of lambs and spring flowers and all that is potential just around the corner. Our chickens are still not quite laying and maybe we'll be laying by Imolk, but it really depends on how much light we're getting and how cold it is. In Wisconsin, Imolk might mean that there are lambs, but we're worried about how much hay we have left and it's still dark and often there's more snow than there was in December for Wisconsin. And this connection to our agrarian roots and where our personal food and fiber comes from means that my association with Imolk is a little different than most. I see cute lambs and flowers as symbols of spring, but I also think of cleaning the barn and trying to get the pruning on the fruit trees done in time. And yet it's mornings like these when I step into the barn and it's warm and everyone just wants to have a little bit of snuggle time. I look forward to what our wool will be like when it's really spring and what we'll do together.